Barry, we never like to lose games of football here, but you must be very proud of the boys despite the loss. Oh, definitely. Um, I think, I mean, it was a great crowd here today. Both sets of supporters, um, very vocal in a positive way. Um, and I think the second half especially, they definitely got their money's worth with the end-to-end -end action. Definitely. Terrific. Some terrific saves from Johnny Henley. He just, uh, I mean, I know they did beat him twice, but one was an own goal and one was a penalty. But the rest of the time, we just couldn't get anything past him. Oh, we pulled off, I think, three or four fantastic saves um, when we were a bit stretched going for an equaliser. Um, I think first half, said to him at half-time, you know, read the right act a little bit. Uh, felt we didn't, we was giving the ball away cheap again like we did the previous couple of games in the first half. Um, you know, may, maybe a bit harsh, but... I, I believe that our boys are good enough on the ball. If you know, if you know, they were putting us under massive pressure on the ball. Just felt we were trying to force the pass instead of you know maybe trying to win it in the in the first half of the game, rather than just be patient and uh, you know gradually as the game goes on get into it. The second half of the first half, if you like, sorry, perhaps we paid them a bit too much respect. They got that uh, they got the penalty and obviously got the two goals in front. But second half, it was very much a different story, wasn't it? Yeah, first half, you know, their first. Johnny made a save uh, within about 15 minutes, good save, palmed it away for a corner. The disappointed with the first goal, you know, they were, the boys had a long time to get himself set and they managed to take a throw, flick it on, get it to feet and obviously it was an own goal, you can't do nothing about that. Second goal, I'd love to see it but, you know, even their skipper said how he gave a penalty, he doesn't know. Um, no one in the ground even appealed to it. You know, things like that, they do affect you and they do affect the team. Going in 2-0 down rather than 1-0 down is a massive thing but... You know, second half, we came out, we done, like we did on Saturday, we moved the ball a lot quicker. Um, less touches, got it wide, got into good areas, and I think we, you know, we tested them at times. Got behind their defence far more in the second half, didn't we? Yeah, definitely. I think that's come from, you know, we're moving it from side to side, we're stretching them, so the gaps get bigger in between their players, therefore we can start sliding balls in. Um, you know, Chris Kinnear's hit an absolute rocket that's hit the bar, you know, half a yard down, and it's in the back of the net, and we're two all. That was a very clever piece of play, play, wasn't it? That was the quickly taken free kick. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if I'm honest with you, if it had gone in, I wouldn't know what the ref would have done. He might have <laughs> given it, he might not have done it. On, on that thing today, I don't know what he would But it was a great bit of instinctive thinking. Um, and it would have been nice if it would have gone in. But. And it's good that we were able to, you were able to play a bit of a squad side today as well. I mean, it wasn't, uh, you know, you obviously rested some players. We've got two two big games coming up at the weekend, obviously. So that, that if you take that into account, the performance was very good, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we, you know, I spoke to Jay before the game and, you know, he, to be fair to him, he, I think there was only four that started from the game against Wrexham at the weekend. <clears throat> you know, but they were squad players um, and a couple of youngsters, you know, you know Liam Smith comes straight back in. I thought Callum was superb at centre off. Started off a bit shaky, but I thought we really grew into the game. And um, and like I say, without Parky Scans, uh, who else did we not have out there? Dan George Thompson, Bevan. George Bevan, Sonny Sorry. Miles, mm. Alex came on. You know, we've got a good squad, but the league is our priority this year. Um, yes, we do want to win the Ken Cup, harsh draw, Maidstone in the first round. But you know, like you said to me just then, and like I say to yourselves and the fans. I think the second half, the boys proved it wasn't just a kicker out. They wanted to win that game of football. Definitely, definitely. Can you tell us about uh, Louis Ewell, who came on to all the last 10 minutes, didn't he? Yes, he got re recommended by Jay Siver. So he came down training last week. Um, he'd been at Chelmsford, but they didn't really offered him much. Only 18, 19, I believe. Um, done well in training. Um, luckily, this game you know, came around quickly, so we could have a look at him. But, you know, he's a young kid like Liam and Dominic and Callum. And uh, when he came on, I don't think he looked out of place. Um, mm -hmm. We just got to chat with him, see what he's, you know, what he wants to do, what he's looking for, um, and go from there, really. So, as I said, two big games at the weekend. Uh, they come thick and fast, don't they? Harrow, uh, well, I think, are top at the moment, aren't they? And then uh, Folkestone. That, that's always a massive game, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I know Steve Baker and um, and Wilco's assistant for twenty years, and uh, I know what we're going to get from them. We're going to get a team that's got. Desire, work rate, organisation, um, and you know, last year they probably struggled a little bit towards the end of the year, and they obviously got a reprieve, I believe, yes, into yes. the league. But that was purely because of they had a lot of injuries at the wrong times. You know, they're they're, they're going to be a very very tough game, and then obviously Monday um, is a Kent derby, but obviously miles away. Um, obviously Neil, <laughs> yeah. he's brought a few players in. He's got a few more athletic players this year, which I think will help him. Um, but you know we'll do our homework. We'll look to Saturday, 
um, and hopefully you know we've got a few more of the boys back. Definitely. It's going to be very interesting. Well done tonight. Thank you very much. Really Cheers. good football match to watch. Thank you. Thank you. Callum, well played today. Uh, commiserations about the result. How do you feel about the day? I mean, it's a bit gutting, isn't it, to go out of a cup? But again, we've first half we was off the boil. Second half we've come out and we've turned up. But we've got to start to learn to turn it on in the first half and not rely on the second half to catch up on a game. So. How do you feel you got on personally today? Cause, uh... Personally, I was all right. Mm. First half, a bit shaky, you know, nerves and that. But I grew into the game, got me a day, grew into the second half. I thought I'd done all right, to be fair. Yeah, and, and you're coming Solid. up against players who play National League football. Yeah, exactly. They're much higher level. So it is a good test for me as a young player coming up. So, yeah, happy with the second half, especially. And playing up against players like Delano, Sam York, yeah. you know, uh, Zavin Hines, uh, yeah, yeah, Joe Piggott. They're, they're decent, experienced yeah. players. Yeah, there. yeah. Exactly, so it's a good test for me, especially as, as, a, as a young player coming up. But I can't complain, it's what I want, the hardest test, it's the only way it's going to make me better. So, mm -hmm. how, how about say Stoney alongside you, how much help does Oh, he he's a lot of help, mm -hmm. his experience comes with it, doesn't it? So, him talking to you constantly through the game, it, he just talks his way through it, talks me through it, and then you just feel comfortable. So, he settles you in, and you're fine. He, he's a good lad, he's a good lad to play with. How, how do you find um, training just being involved with the first team how, how does that develop your game yeah it's it's good because when you go from the 21s it's good there but when you step up to the first and you start training it's sharper you've got to start thinking quicker so it is good it helps me out here whether I play for the 21s wherever I do it's helping me wherever I go so and the boys are help at training ground so it is excellent to keep training with them a lot of young younger players at the at the club have got opportunities so far this yeah season, I mean they? I mean the gaffer's starting to use a lot of us youngsters now so yeah. it is, it's good to see and I'm Obviously, I can't complain. It's helping me, pushing me on, and that's all I want. So, yeah. And for those who don't know, you do other stuff at the club as well, don't you? Yeah, I run the uh, community section with Dom. Um, we mm. do that on a Saturday morning and half-term courses, and uh, we also run the under 13s Kent New Fleet this year. So, exciting things. When does that start? Or are you already underway? Uh, the season for the uh, under 13 starts on the 3rd of September, I believe, mm -hmm. and the uh, community team is every Saturday, and then obviously half-term courses, school dates. Yeah. That's so you're busy at the moment, aren't you? It's one of your football. Yeah, busy, constantly busy. Can't complain now, can you? Yeah. Football, you've got to love it. Absolutely. Right yeah. on today. Cheers.